Okay, here's the uh, the Starkit 9-99 tube tester. The little Micronta. But I think today we'll use the uh, the Ico 666. So I've got it plugged in and warmed up. <laughs> actually, I don't think it needs to be warmed up. I don't think it actually has any tubes in it. Uh, so, if you haven't used these before, they take a little bit of effort to get set up. Basically, you have to uh, set all the controls and switches to the right positions for the tube type you want to test. I've got a tube here. It's a 12AX7. don't know if that's visible or not. <laughs> uh, Hmm. Anyway, it is from, I think, 1968. So that's a very common tube, uh, both in old tech scopes as well as uh, audio to this day. And it's a, you can see inside there the, the construction a bit. It's a dual triode, sort of like two transistors. A dual transistor, if you want a, <laughs> want a uh, point of reference there. So, 12AX7, first thing we need to do is search for it on the chart. Um, okay. It's going to be a bit of a pain when it's far from where you were. <laughs> Here we go. So there, 12AX7, I don't know if you can see, but there are actually two lines shown for that tube. And the reason is, like I said, it's a dual section, so you need to test each one separately, and there are slightly different uh, settings for that. Fortunately, on this tester, you don't have to reset the entire, you know, basically, the most, most of the switches are set once for the tube, and then you just have to push different buttons to test the two. Uh, sections of the tube. So, before we plug the tube in, uh, we need to set everything up properly. Uh, for example, you don't want to set your filament voltage too high, otherwise you could uh, blow the tube. So filament is 12.6, which we knew because the tube is 12AX7 and the 12 refers to the filament voltage. So we set this guy to 12.6. Oh, by the way, this thing also has a uh, modern newfangled transistor tester section in here. Pretty cool. Anyway, 12.6, right. Grid, which is, I guess, a bias of voltage they want at 7, and that's just a, uh, a pot. So we'll turn that down to 7. Uh, plate says 93. I assume is the plate voltage, sort of like your VCC. Next we get to play with all the lever switches. So it says 45121, 45161. That's just referring to these guys. 45121, already set. Four, five, one, six, one. And the last two, um, two and four. So there we go, we've got everything set up now. So at this point we can plug in the tube. <laughs> wiggle it around a bit in case there's some uh, contact issues. Um, and then to test, well there's two kinds of tests we can do here. One is to test for leakage between any elements and it's saying 2, 3, 7, and 8 are leakage tests. Now I know those underlines on the 3 and 8 mean something <laughs> but uh, I, I couldn't tell you right now what they mean. 
Uh, anyway, 2378. So, 2. And then we push the leakage test button, and hopefully the meter won't move too much. And it doesn't. 3. Do it again. Oh, that's interesting. The meter is deflecting a bit, but when you push the button, it goes down. Okay, well, I guess I should have read the manual first. <laughs> uh, seven. And once again, no deflection. Either position. Eight. Oh, same behavior. Up a bit, and then, yep, then it goes down when you push the button. So, okay, I, I think I've got a manual somewhere. I might have to look into that and see what that means. And then the important test, the test of the, the transconductance, or the gain, or whatever you want to call it, of the tube. Uh, you can see it's looking for 6 and 1 for the two different sections. So we'll push button 6. And then to test that, there's this little oops, <laughs> spring-loaded uh, lever switch. So let's see what happens. Whoa, look at that. Good tube, or a good half of tube. Now the other section, we want to press 1. Check again. Excellent, look at that. Not exactly match. The two halves seem to be uh, showing different, different uh, transconductance. But good enough. Good enough for now. Take a look again. That was one. Reading about uh, 120. Now, I don't know if that scale is calibrating or not. I don't think so. Really good tube testers will have uh, an actual uh, calibration, I guess, in mic micro modes usually. Anyway, this one is just sort of a percentage. And then the other half. Oh, look at that. It's changed. <laughs> Here's what I'm talking about with flaky contacts. Let me wiggle the tube a bit. Sure enough. You can tell I haven't used this tester for a while. So there you go. One ICO 666 testing one 12AX7.